Hello, everybody. This is from Milwaukee to Nashville. I'm Daniel Goodwin. And over there, we have John Lundowski. How are you doing, John? Hey, okay. I just wanted to quick say happy birthday to your wife and Robert Sharp's wife as well. Uh, both of them share the same birthday. Oh, wow. <laughs> Um, so yes, uh, that is uh, one thing I got to say. Uh, the other thing I wanted to say is, before we get into our show, I wanted to let everyone know, yes, the Preds did win yesterday. Sorry about no graphic. We've kind of had a crazy day. We will put a disclaimer out when we are ready. Um, so I just wanted to let you guys know about that. We've been having some tech issues. We've been having some health issues. We've been having a lot of <laughs> Well, issues. Right. Um, especially with the graphic design lady sick. Not mm -hmm. exactly working as well uh, right now for us. Uh, we are uh, trying very hard to get all as much as we can done. Uh, before everything else, our show is brought to you by the wonderful folks at Hockey Locker 202, West Side Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. <laughs> You can call them at 414-800-7585 or visit their website at hockeyockermilwaukee.com. They will outfit you for all your hockey needs. If you already have hockey equipment, they will clean it and, and they will sharpen your skates. And they have a drop box to do so at their uh, building at 22, what was that? 2002 West Howard Avenue. I think that's yeah. Uh, yep, 2002 West Hart Avenue. I should have just looked at the screen, but you know, <laughs> gotta look back at it, make sure it's right. Uh, before we get into everything else, uh, the uh, Austin Bruins to re retire Willie O'Ree's number 22 on January 18th. Uh, we will have a special graphic released on our page for that day. Um, just because Willie O'Ree is a trailblazer for hockey and opened a lot of doors for a lot of athletes. So uh, thank you, Mr. O'Ree. Um, uh, also, uh, Trevor Daly, two-time Stanley League Cup champion, signs with Florida of the ECHL, uh, where he will officially retire. Um, I also believe he is living in Florida at the current moment. Uh, Daly is an advise, uh, a hockey operations advisor for the Pittsburgh Penguins. At the current moment, the Penguins confirmed that to, to DK Sports, that Daly did not leave his role with the team is helping the Everblades in the short term navigate through the roster issues caused by COVID. So um, there's a little update there. Also, um, the Florida Everblades. Uh, gotta scroll through all this. Um, it is only for the two games this weekend uh, that Daly is signed for, to my knowledge. Um, Daly is out of line with Jordan Sambrook. Mm -hmm. um, and we will talk more about that in our Everblades portion of today's show. Um, just a little bit of cool news in our system there. Uh, today, the Milwaukee Admirals played as well. They took on the Cleveland Lake Erie Monsters. Yes, you see what I did there? Uh, yeah. Uh-huh. Um, the uh, shots were 39-28 Milwaukee. Um, Cleveland was 0 for 0 on the power play. Uh, 
Milwaukee was two for three on the PP on the power play. Oh boy, hi, poor kitty. <laughs> now, what you gonna do? You chucked it in the kitchen, goofball. <laughs> mm. I'm sorry, folks. My cat's acting goofy this late at night. This is what keeps me up at night, folks. All right. So scoring in the first was Billy Sways Sweezy. By the way, I'm not kidding. That's literally his name, Billy Sweezy. His start of the season unassisted. Then the Admirals respond and tie it up in a knot. Yeah. Scored by Graham Knott. His fourth of the season with an assist from Joseph LeBate and Anthony Richard. His LeBate's third, Richard's second. Uh, then in the second period, scoring is first goal of the season, but he's only played two games and he has now four points in two games. Tommy Novak. Tommy Novak scoring his first on the power play of the season at 2.29. With an assist from Rocco Grimaldi, his seventh, and Cole Schneider, his 16th. Uh, then on the 13th, or 13 minute, 50 seconds into the second, Rocco Grimaldi scores on the power play his 11th of the season. With the assist from Tommy Novak. So make that six or wait, five points, five points on the season in two games. With an assist also from Cole Smith, his 10th. Uh, then scoring at the 14 15 mark was Brendan Gods, his ninth, with an assist from Tim Burney and Kevin Stitland. His 11th, Birdie's fifth, God's his ninth, and then Josh Dunn scores his fifth with an assist from Cole Clayton, his fifth. In the third, nothing. Um, scoring in OT was the Little Rocket, Anthony Richard, his fourth of the season with an assist from Cole Smith, his 11th. Three stars of the game. Guess what they all had? Anthony Richard, third star of the game with a goal and an assist. Game winning goal at that. Yeah. Second, whew, sorry, folks. Second star of the game, Marco Grimaldi with a goal and an assist. Third star, first star of the game, Tommy Novak, goal and an assist. Um. Uh, crap list tonight for the Admirals players. Frederick Allard, Grant Mismash, Mitch McLean, and Martin Delgaizo. Uh, that sums that part of it up. In net for the Admirals was Connor Ingram stopping 25 of 28. In net for the Cleveland Monsters. Normally, you guys hear about him in our Florida Everblade section of our shows. But today, you're hearing him here. Cam Johnson, everybody. Cam Johnson stopped 35 of 39. Still had a solid game. Um, head coach for the Admirals is Carl Taylor, assistant coach Scott Ford, assistant coach Greg Rollo, head coach for... The Cleveland Monsters is Mike Eves, second uh, assistant coach is Mark Latestu, assistant coach Trent Vogel Huber. Attendance at the UW Panther Arena was 3,000 or 3,000, 4,389. The game was two hours, 26 minutes, including overtime. Um, so that game went pretty well. The Admirals get back in the wing column after losing three straight to the Griffins. Um, <coughs> previously winning two in a row. So going into the holiday break, they actually had a pretty good momentum going. Yeah. <coughs> 
<clears throat> and the mall, um, I think our team's just so starting a little slow this year from the looks of it, if we can hold up. Uh, we move back into sixth place with our win today. Um, around the AHL, the, um, the Abbotsford, I want to say, Abbotsford Canucks beat the Bakersfield Condors. San Diego Gulls beat the Stockton Heat, are beating, well, okay, Abbotsford is beating Bakersfield. San Diego is beating Stockton. The Henderson Silver Knights are beating the San Jose Barracuda. The Toronto and Laval, Laval game has been postponed. Belleville uh, lost to Springfield. Grand Rapids beat Iowa. Um, Syracuse beat Hershey 5-3. Utica beat uh, Wilkes-Barre in a shootout, <laughs> six to five. Uh, Rochester beat the Hartford Wolfpack, five to two. Also, Admirals alum notice. Uh, Ro Hartford Wolfpack have signed PC Labrie to a two-year contract. It's not the Wolfpack. I believe it's the Syracuse Crunch. I'm checking right now. Um. He started off, yes, it is the Syracuse Crunch signed Labrie to two-year deal. He was on a PTO with Hartford. Oh, okay. Sorry. Um, then the Wolfpack have Anthony Botetto. <laughs> yes. Looking at that roster is actually kind of confusing because there's quite a few. Oh. Just look if you look around the league, sometimes you, you see names you know, right? Yeah, because uh, the Rochester Americans have Lucas Craig's, right? So if you look around, yes, it is the Syracuse Crunch that signed him. Sorry, I stand corrected, but at least I have somebody to do so. Mm -hmm. Um, beyond that. And the Syracuse Crunch today played. Did he play for him? Labrie had a goal. Oh, nice. In the, in the second period. Good. Um, Labrie this year is actually having quite a solid season playing for them. Um, the Syracuse Crunch, he's played one game, has one goal. Uh, he's played 21 games for the Hartford Wolfpack, where he has two goals, six assists, eight points, and a minus one. 23 penalty minutes. He had five in this game. That means he had a fight. Right. All righty. So on to our Everglades portion of the show. The Everglades out shoot the South Carolina Stingrays 33 to 30. The South Carolina Stingrays are not having the best season. No. But it's still early in the year. <laughs> right. So scoring in the first <laughs> is Ben Holmstrom uh, with an assist by Connor Moore and Nick Isaacson. Isaacson. It's literally I-S-A-A-C-S-O-N. Ah. Huh? Isaac Sun. Um, then scoring at the 10-15 mark was Leif Kokoper with an assist by Alex Alardi and Ben Masala. Then scoring at the 11-35 mark was Blake Winicky with an assist from John McCarran and Jake Iermanko. Then scoring on the power play was Ben Holmstrom for the South Carolina Stingrays with an assist from Andrew Churwachan and Jordan Subban. Yes, the other brother to PK and Malcolm. Yep. Um, I would be on, uh, on record to say the least talented of the two, of the three. Not that he's not talented. I just don't think he has the ability. There's something different about him compared to the others. Okay. 
Um, uh, personality, even wise, there's just something different with Jordan. Kind of reminds me of Jonathan Diaby. Not for the negativity, it's just the attitude that he has towards hockey. Um, at the 18.32 mark, John McCarron scores uh, equal strength with an assist from Blake Whitakey and Chris McKay. Chris McKay, hey, hey, did Coach McKay really help you out on this one? Yeah, I know. I'm going overboard with that joke. <laughs> it's going to eventually run flat. Um, so then in the second period at the 101 mark, scoring shorthanded was John McCarron with an assist from Jordan Sambrook. Um, then at the 820 mark, <sighs> scored by Alex Alardi, uh, goal scored up by Alex Alardi for the Everblades unassisted. Then John McCarron scores his third of the game with an assist from Alex Alardi and Chris McKay. If I didn't already throw my hat because I, I was getting warm, I'd throw my hat. <laughs> mm -hmm. And, uh, uh, yeah. Yay! <laughs> mm -hmm. A hat trick for the captain, John McCarran. Uh, then in the third period, scoring for the Everblades was Blake Whitakey with an assist from Xavier Bouchard and John McCarran. Then scoring shorthanded, the second shorthanded goal of the game for the Everblades, Joe Penizza with an assist from Leif Coper and Xavier Bouchard. Then scoring at the 1857 mark uh, was Alex Brink. And that will wrap up this game uh, for the scoring yeah. portion. Um, Net minders for this game were Parker Gahagan stopping 27 of 30. In net for the South Carolina Stingrays was Ryan Bednard uh, stopping 25 of 33 with a 75.758 save percentage. The ECHL does it differently. It's like 75.758 save percentage. Okay. Literally the percentage, and then you get, the, you know how you do a calculator, and it just trails right. out you a bunch of numbers. That's pretty much what they do. Right. Um, also wanted to give a little kudos and love to the Wisconsin boy backing up down there. Uh, ben Myers out of Wauwatosa, Wisconsin. Also, kudos to Tommy Novak, Black River Falls, Wisconsin. Yeah. <laughs> Wisconsin getting some love in this one. I almost wore my Badger jersey today. <laughs> <laughs> uh, three stars of the game were third star of the game was Alex Alardi, second star of the game, Blake Winicky, and third, first star of the game, obviously, with a hat trick and two assists, John, your captain, Mr. Everblade McCarran. Uh, Blake Whitakey, by the way, had a, two goals and an assist. Alex Alardi had a goal and two assists, I believe. Yes, two goals and uh, a goal and two assists. So what a night for the Everblades. Um, yeah. Guys who had a rough go of it were Jordan Subban minus three. Uh, Isaacson minus four, uh, Alex Brink minus three, Hammond minus three, Holmstrom minus four with two goals, so he would have had a minus six, right? <clears throat> um, Coleman minus five, Coella minus three, more minus two. That whole team was a minus 30. Okay. Overall, um, they had eight penalty minutes to ten penalty minutes. Parker Gahagi was a big, big, big uh, game for him. Uh, attendance at Hertz Arena was 5,766. 
Um, there were no fighting or anything like that. Uh, on the power play, uh, South Carolina was one for five, Florida 0 for four. All right. But reality sets in, they scored two shorthanded goals. Yeah. So special teams still kind of did their work. Uh, referees yeah. in this game, uh, referee was uh, J.R. Stagger. Um, J.R. Stagger. S T R A G A R. Uh, then we had linesman Tenem Weisneck and Ross Cromaldi. Grimaldi. Okay. Not Grimaldi. Crim. Right. Just so I get my pronunciation correct there. Right. Um. So I want to thank Trevor Daly for for helping out the Everblades. Yeah. For sure. You know. Um. That is a uh, it, it, right now. COVID's a tough thing. Um, every team, every league, everything, everyone's dealing with it. So I I just wanna you know <sighs> make sure that it's all out there and everybody's all right. Things are yeah, okay. Um, I would like to add in that tomorrow you can come out to the Admirals game and get a nice pizza cutter. Uh, me and my family will be there um, with uh, our graphics lady out sick. Uh, John will not make the game tomorrow or, right. or did he tonight. Uh, being good husband and staying home and taking care of his sick. Absolutely. <laughs> so... Um, well, thank you guys for watching. This has been from Milwaukee to Nashville. We will be back tomorrow or today, depending on when this officially gets uploaded. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, and uh, we will be uh, spending uh, uh, quite a bit of time uh, either tomorrow or uh, the next few days getting you guys a in the system video because um, we're getting close. We're about two months away from uh, the juniors wrapping up their seasons. Uh, they wrap up in March. So we're running out of time for the, the system because these guys, as soon as they wrap up, some of them will be coming to the Everblades, to the Admirals, the college over in Canada. They're wrapping up in the next month. So you could see some guys coming out of that as well. Right. Um, so uh, I just wanted to put that out there. Yes, I know I sound a little hoarse, but I've been yelling all night. Mm -hmm. And, you know, shooting the, the, the you know, with, with your buddies. So uh, go ads, go preds, go Everblades. We'll see you all tomorrow.